Chapter 9 David said, Is there yet any who is left of the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? There was of the house of Saul a servant whose name was Ziba, and they called him to David. And the king said to him, Are you Ziba? He said, I am your servant. The king said, Is there not yet any of the house of Saul, that I may show the kindness of God to him? Ziba said to the king, Jonathan has yet a son, who is lame of his feet. The king said to him, Where is he? Ziba said to the king, Behold, he is in the house of Machir, the son of Amiel, in Lodabar. Then King David sent and fetched him out of the house of Machir, the son of Amiel, from Lodabar. Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, and fell on his face and did homage. David said, Mephibosheth. He answered, Behold your servant. David said to him, Don't be afraid, for I will surely show you kindness for Jonathan your father's sake, and will restore to you all the land of Saul your father and you shall eat bread at my table continually. He did homage again and said, What is your servant that you should look on such a dead dog as I am? Then the king called to Ziba Saul's servant and said to him, All that pertain to Saul and to all his house have I given to your master's son. You shall tell the land for him, you and your sons and your servants, and you shall bring in the fruits, that your master's son may have bread to eat. But Mephibosheth, your master's son, shall eat bread always at my table. Now Ziba had fifteen sons and twenty servants. Then Ziba said to the king, According to all that my lord the king commands his servant, so shall your servant do. As for Mephibosheth, the king said he shall eat at my table as one of the king's sons. Mephibosheth had a young son whose name was Micah. All that lived in the house of Ziba were servants to Mephibosheth. So Mephibosheth lived in Jerusalem, for he ate continually at the king's table. He was lame in both his feet.